Imagine a world in BeamNG Drive where you could just generate anything with the press of a button. Maps, cars, mods, paint jobs, liveries, anything you could think of, you just put in a prompt and the game generates it for you. Everything about BeamNG Drive is more realistic. Maps, graphics are much more realistic. Everything is optimized. Car traffic drives just how it would in real life. It all could happen soon because of artificial intelligence. Today, we are going to talk about how AI could be a massive part in the future of BeamNG Drive. AI in video games is fairly new technology and is very rare in games. I can't think of one game that uses artificial intelligence and AI generated things in the game. Now, AI could be perfect for BeamNG Drive as it is a sandbox game because AI could really generate anything you want. So in what ways could AI be used in BeamNG Drive? Well, first of all, the biggest one, maps. AI could be able to generate maps in BeamNG Drive. Usually, there are only about maybe 20 maps in BeamNG Drive. I'm not really sure, but after a while, they do get pretty repetitive and boring. It would be nice every 10 minutes to get on a new map in BeamNG Drive. And if you really like the map that an AI generated, you could save it and play it later, or even share it online with friends. This could be perfect for BeamNG Drive. The developers won't have to worry about losing players anymore because they don't get bored. They always have new maps to generate every day, and there's always something new to discover in the game. Now, AI-generated maps may have some serious downsides to the BeamNG Drive developers. More on that later. So what about AI-generated cars? Well, I expect this part of AI in BeamNG Drive to come after the maps, because cars in BeamNG Drive are way different than the maps. First of all, in addition for the AI to generate the model and all the animations, it would also have to generate the physics of the car, all the aerodynamics, and also maybe all the configurations in, as well. Now, I guess this could be a cool part of BeamNG Drive, but this could have some bad consequences for the developers. If a player decides to generate a real car in real life, they might get a copyright strike, the BeamNG Drive developers, because they don't have the licenses to that car. Now, if if this feature were to be added in BeamNG Drive, there would probably be censorship, censorships to what you can and cannot generate. Such as, you wouldn't be able to generate a Ford F-150, but you would be able to generate a Gavriel D-Series. Okay, so what about maybe paint jobs and car accessories? Well, I expect this feature may to come out maybe one year from now, because that would be much easier to generate than a full-on car. That would be pretty cool to generate unique paint jobs, or maybe even car customization parts. I know that there is a massive car customization community in BeamNG Drive. They would absolutely love having to just generate car customization parts and putting them on their car to so all of their cars are unique in different ways and maybe there could actually be car meets in the games to showcase their unique cars. So the final one here is maybe it could generate missions. Now there are a plenty of pretty good and fun missions in BeamNG Drive but if you play them for a very long time they eventually do get pretty repetitive. It would be cool to just generate as much missions as you want and maybe you could I've actually talked about this on a previous video before it would be like it would be make the game way more fun and there wouldn't be much repetitive aspects of the game anymore because you could just generate whatever kind of mission you want a delivery mission a sci-fi mission whatever you could think of you could maybe generate it that would be so cool to have and it could also be cool for like content creators so they could play those missions and show them to their audience because they could be pretty entertaining this next and final part of the video is sort of a bonus, but I thought it'd be good to include in the video. The traffic AI. As of right now, the traffic AI in BeamNG Drive isn't that great. Sometimes they get 
randomly go stuck on get stuck on the walls. They sometimes just hit things and um, get stuck on the things. Now, maybe if they have maybe a new system, maybe they could be way smarter. And who knows? Maybe they could have schedules, go to work every day, and park. And maybe they could maybe have cargo on them, more variation in the traffic. Maybe there could be, like, police car, fire trucks, and they actually respond to scenes. That would be so cool, but it would be extremely hard to implement into the game. Like, I don't even... It's probably, like, not even closely possible right now. There's just not that... It, they require so much code to do, and if you'd put it in the game right now, it would probably turn the game into a one frame per second game. Pretty much a slideshow. Just to get an idea of how bad the AI traffic is, did you just see that guy who just cut through the trees there? Yeah. I don't think cars are supposed to do that. There are many ways how AI in BMNG Drive could be bad. First of all, the developers. If everything in the game is being developed by AI, that might cause the developers of BeamNG Drive to lose their jobs or get paid less. So, the BeamNG Drive developers are amazing, and they always have very creative ideas. And most of the time, those ideas they have are probably going to be way more creative than robots. Because after all, they are humans. It's the same case with modders. Modders spend hours and hours of their time just so they could just so they could make mods for the game and make players have fun with them. And sometimes they get paid for them, sometimes they don't. So, if you could just generate anything with the click of the button, modders in BeamNG Drive could become obsolete. And like I said, modders most of the time are way more creative than human or way more creative than robots because they are human. Anyway, guys, that's everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's BeamNG Drive episode.